Hey guys, I'm a gaming potato, and today we're playing a new game. We'll be playing Factorio, and we'll be seeing how far we can get. Hopefully, we can work ourselves to a mega base, which will be pretty nice. So we're gonna go single player, new game. We're gonna do things a bit differently though. We're gonna play on a super world. So one of the things I like to do is set all of my resources to max. That means I have to spend less time finding new resource house outposts. And a lot of my resource house outposts can last for a very, very long time. Another thing I do is turn off cliffs because they just annoy me. And the other thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna turn off water. This will give us our starting area water, which is pretty much all we're going to need because I have a mod called Water Fill that lets me just create water wherever I need it. The other thing we'll do is we'll turn off enemy bases because I don't like playing with enemies. And then in the advanced tab, we'll make sure our research queue is set to always available. Now we'll just hit preview and we'll see what our starting area is going to look like. So we have a ton of iron here, which is pretty great, and a nice big patch of copper. So this is, should actually do us pretty well. We got a little bit of water that's pretty close, which is actually perfect. And then we'll probably build up, I think. We'll probably go straight up. And we have a little bit of nuclear, or uh, a little bit of our uranium over here for nuclear. We do have this larger patch up here, but our base might build into that, we'll see. And then we've got some oil off to the side, so this is actually looking pretty good. So let's just hit play with this. Yeah, look at all that iron and copper, that's perfect. And so it begins. So... I think we're probably just going to get rid of this since it's right on our copper. And we'll get rid of some of these other ship parts as well. Since they're kind of in the way here. And then as soon as we're done with this, we need to find ourselves some rocks. Because big rocks have coal in them. So having some stone is good for our uh, smelters and then having some coal is good for powering everything so I see a rock right here uh, let's see we want some big rocks with coal in them see if we can find any I'm not really seeing any around here it's not that big of a deal though maybe over here oh here's a good one we'll just get this guy for now And then we'll go over here and we'll get probably these two big rocks. That's all we really need. So we'll get this guy right here. And as soon as we mine it, we'll start creating some smelters. Perfect. That should be plenty enough. Then we'll just add some items to our hotbar here. Oops, not wood. We want our smelters. Our stone furnaces. So right away we're going to go probably right here is a good spot. And we'll get some iron going. And once we get a couple sheets of iron, we should just be able to throw together another... Uh, oh yeah, here we go, okay. Perfect. So yeah, we're just gonna get some of this going so we can build some more miners. Perfect. Now we'll use the next two, once we got enough here, just need a couple more, and two more sheets of iron, this 
see, we just need some iron gears. There we go. So we'll use these two miners. They will mine into themselves to create some more coal for us. And we'll just keep on pumping some more of these out. You can see the, the fuel here on the side is still pretty good. There we go. And we'll probably build one more of these. Perfect. These will go like this. Now they can mine into each other. Awesome. So now these four should provide enough coal so we can build quite a more quite a few more of these iron furnaces. Or sorry, these uh mining drills. There we go. Yeah, setting these for your hotkeys makes this pretty quick. You can control click on one of your refineries here to just take the material right out of them. So I can hold control, drag across, and it'll pick them all up for me. And I can also hold Z with my coal active to put one of each into my objects here. Or I can just hold Z and drag across to quickly fill them all up. It's only going to put one at a time, but for early game, that's good. See, I can go like this and put a whole bunch in there. I can also control click on it with a stack like this, and it'll put all of them in my stack into it. There we go, three more. So we'll just make these. And we'll get some more coal. Perfect. There we go. Now we got all these producing for us. So now that we got all those, we're going to make even more coal. There we go. And also you can press alt to see what's making what. So with it off, you know, I can't really tell what's going on here. But now I can see exactly what's going on. I'm also control clicking on these burner mining recipes just to make all of them that are currently available. And I'm out of my stone now, so I think I'm going to use these guys to make some stone. And I'm also going to need... Oh, actually, yeah, I can make some iron chests here. Perfect. So I will go to my stone. Actually, before we do that, let's just grab some coal for them. We'll make an iron chest. And we'll put four of these on here to make us some stone. Now they can continue harvesting stone for our furnaces. And we'll get these guys over here. Perfect. So we just need some more stone furnaces. And we'll get some more uh, iron mining here. We'll just let those finish being produced. And we'll get these with some fuel in there. And I think we'll just take these three I got here. And we'll actually set these over here so we can get some more coal. We want to get through the starter phase as fast as we can. Perfect. Perfect. 
And we're going to just keep making drills. We're going to need a huge amount of iron. But eventually we'll make a couple copper mining setups. And then we'll get electricity over here. See what our stone's like. Yeah, now our iron's starting to build up, which is good. And let's refill on our coal. So I'm just checking fuel levels right now, and they look good. And let's go like this. We'll just get some more stone. Throw that guy there. Get rid of these guys. There we go. See, hockeys make that really easy. If you mouse over an object you want and you press Q, it will create a copy of it if you have one in your inventory. So it makes it very quick and easy to paste them. And we got four miners here, so I think we'll just extend this some more. Just like that. And we'll get some more stone. There, this is perfect. Now we'll work on our electricity. So we'll get a couple boilers going. And we need some power poles now. So we need to find some wood. So it looks like there's some wood right here. Hopefully we won't need too much of it. Oh, and yeah, we'll actually need some copper now. We'll just DQ some of those uh, boilers. We got 230 coal, that's awesome. There we go. And we need some more stone. Yeah, you can just control click on a box to take all of its contents. All right, let's get, I think this copper up here is gonna be closer. If I can put this in the right spot. There, that should be all the copper we need for a while. And now we'll start making some poles. <clears throat> yeah, we're looking pretty good now. Let's see, we'll make some more poles. And we're also going to need a water pump. Let's see, we got four boilers. We'll make four more um, steam engines. And then we'll need some pipes. Not sure exactly how many we'll need, but that random amount should be enough. Get rid of our coal. 
And now we'll get to our water. And we'll set up some electricity. All right, so I think I want my electricity to come up to the north. So we'll take our pump. And we need a couple pipes. Well, let's just take our boilers for now. We'll put a gap between these guys. There we go. And boilers. Or sorry, these are our steam engines. There we go. And then we need some power poles just to connect all these guys. And we'll want to put some power poles here. So once we have our uh, inserters there, they can do some insertion for us. And then we'll just carry some power lines over here. Just like this. Perfect. Now we'll just get some coal so we can fill up these boilers. And these four boilers here, completely filled with stacks of 50 coal, they're going to last a long time. So you can see they're currently burning through to generate steam. But once that steam maxes out, now we can see the coal usage has stopped. Because these the system is basically fully primed and ready to go. And because we're not using any power, it's not actually consuming anything. But now we can get some science labs. We'll just fill these guys up. Actually, we may as well stick some big stacks in there since we got lots of coal now. And now we should be able to build some science labs. All right, so we got some science labs being made now. And now we can make some science. Let's find here. There, so we have to handcraft our first science. And the first thing we're going to unlock is our automation. We'll want that for sure. And then we'll do logistics. But we're going to want to get our level 2 logistics pretty quick if we can find it. Yeah, it's way up here, but it's actually pretty easy to get. All we need is the green science and our logistics for that. A lot of people, they start off with yellow belts, but I really don't like them. So I just rush red belts, and then I do everything with red belts. So everything goes much quicker. All right, let's just get some more coal. Just make sure all these miners are nice and full. And why don't we just throw some more of these guys out here? Yeah, we're still waiting on these science labs. Probably don't need four right off the bat. So let's just set these up. Put them right there. And now we've got science.
Now we're just going to keep waiting on the science here. Just going to keep filling these up while we wait for more science. should give us automation nice all right so now we can build assemblers we'll just get 11 of those built And now we'll get a bit more focus on our coal here, or sorry, on our copper. And we'll just pick these up for now. Now we'll just make a bunch of boxes, since we're going to need to use boxes just to move some materials around for the first little bit. And we're pretty much just waiting for our assemblers to come out now. I can see there's only one fuel left in this miner. I'm just going to fill that back up. The rest of these look pretty good. Alright, now we have assemblers. So let's throw a couple assemblers here. <clears throat> so what do we want? We should probably have an assembler making circuits for us. Yeah, so here's what we'll do. We'll just go like this. Throw some assemblers on our toolbar. So we want an assembler making our copper wires. So we'll go like this, make a couple of these guys. Get them on our hotbar. Come up here. Grab some copper. Send it in there get some of this stuff going. Now we want an output box. So we'll output into here. There we go. And iron plates. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably just, let's get rid of this. Go like this. Put that there. And now this is going to make circuits for us. And we'll just collect some more resources here. Alright. Now we'll create an output box for our circuits. Oh, and let's automate our stone furnaces as well. We're just going to go like this. Throw one of these guys down. Yeah, we'll go like this. So this is going to create stone furnaces for us. Nice. 
There, this should be good. Yeah, now we're going to get a ton of stone furnaces out. Beauty. That's making our circuits. Let's get some more coal and copper. circuits coming out I think we should get these signs here copper and gears yeah let's just get a uh, some assemblers here doing science for us so we need copper plates and gears yeah, copper plates and gears. Get some more copper. Throw down some uh, automation for gears here. That's doing gears. Bring gears in here. With some copper plates. For science. And we can just output this science right into here. Perfect. All right, so we should be able to start filling up our miners here with a ton of coal. And I think we'll just continue this on a little bit further. All right. Nice. So we got our logistics coming out. Next, we're going to want to research green science. Actually, maybe let's just get our expanded inventory. Oh, we'll need green science before we can really worry about that. We do also need steel. <clears throat> All right, so let's try and automate some more manufacturing here. I think we're going to need a ton of inserters. So let's do, actually, maybe we should do assemblers. What do assemblers need? Okay, so I already have our circuits. So let's go like this. Put circuits in there. And uh, this will be... So we need gears. Okay, let's get rid of this. Go get some iron plates. And then this guy will put right here. And what do we need? We need some more iron plates. That will go here. This is going to make gears. And I think we can just take some of these. Toss them in there. All right, let's grab some more coal. So we'll just start maxing some of this out, just so we don't have to refill it as much. There we go. We're still good on copper. All 
All right, we got some of this automated. What else can we do? I think we're going to need a lot of assembly machines. Or actually, no, we're going to need belts. Iron plates and iron gears. We got gears here. Yeah, so let's just go like this. Like this. So make belts. Perfect. Let's get rid of all these tips. I think we can do our assembly machines. We do need quite a few resources. And I don't think we're producing enough electronic circuits to fuel both of these. So I think we're going to have to do our assembly machines. So yeah, we're going to have to build another. Uh, electronic green circuit assembly machine so maybe let's grab some more coal make sure our miners are fully loaded and we got three assembly machines so we'll get a couple more of those So we'll basically just go like this. That'll be copper wires, green circuits, Oops. and this will be assemblers. Circuits, copper wires, copper wires be plates and then actually here we'll put gears oops now we want to go like this come over here grab some of our inserters so that is gears Copper. This will use some of these guys. And this will require some iron plates. So we'll just go like this. And we'll get some iron plates from something 200, 400, 200. Yeah, this says 900, so we'll grab a bunch of these. Throw them in there. And then we'll get all this powered. There we go. Oh, looks like I need some more iron here. And now we got assembly machines automated. Alright, while this is all working, we'll keep Making sure our smelting lines are fueled. Yeah, that all has stacks of 50, so it shouldn't be running out anytime soon. For belts 154 belts that's not bad five assemblers we're gonna need those so now we need to automate our electric mining drills which pretty much uses the same thing as our inserters do all right so pretty much just gonna do the same thing again 
something like this. And then we'll throw some boxes down. All right, let's grab some resources here. Throw copper in there, get some copper wire. This is going to be green circuits. With some steel, or with some iron. This will be our electric miners. This will be gears. And we'll just grab some iron plates. Nice. So that has, oh yeah, and then iron plates specifically. I'll go in there. And now we should have automated mining drills as well. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this is facing the wrong way. There we go. And there is our first electric mining drill. Nice. So first thing we're going to do is automate our electric our electricity production. So we're going to take a bunch of our belts there. And I think we're going to belt in from this patch down here. So we will just go grab some of these. Just like that. And we'll just come straight across here. And then all of this we're going to fill with our electric miners. And actually, I have a blueprint book here. I believe I've got a mining setup. Let's see, 20 miners. Yeah, that should be pretty good. So I have kind of a compact mining system here. I think maybe, you know, we don't really need it for, for this setup. We're still so early game, it's probably not a big deal. So we'll just harvest some more wood for some more power poles. Some more copper. Oh, well, looks like uh, our stone ran out of fuel there. Kind of forgot about that. But we have a thousand coal, nice. So we'll just put a full 50 stack in there. 170 furnaces, nice. And we want a bunch of these guys. So yeah, we're just stealing copper wires from these two assembly machines. 
just to make our pulls here. And it looks like this one box has ran out of iron. We'll just toss those in there. Okay, it looks like this has ran out of iron as well. I got some excess stone. A little too much stone. What if we just kind of go like this? And let's get power over here. Now one thing I want to do, I could just link my these power poles here off of this main line, but I'd really rather them kind of have their own power line. So in case the system, like my whole factory shuts down for, you know, who knows why, but I can very easily disconnect all of my power consumers from the grid and then I can have just power going to my coal here to make sure the system is powered. All right, let's see how many of these electric miners we got. 22, that should be plenty. There we go. And we'll just make sure everything here is powered. And now we have coal coming in. So we'll see how much power is actually sitting here left, because we did throw just a stack of 50 coal in each of these. Yeah, we can see they're around 17, so they're, they'd be running out soon. We almost have logistic science packs up. We can see logistic science requires transport belt and inserters, which we have already automated. So that means as soon as that logistic science pack is done, we're just going to go like this. Throw some inserters here. We're going to grab our belts and our inserters. It's going to make green science. And we can see now it's already loaded up. So that's enough to make pretty much 50 science packs right there. So that's going to work on that. And now, since we have our green science already automated, we're going to find our red belts. Wherever red belts are. Come on. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't see them. There they are. Oh no, right, tool belt. Yeah, let's get that tool belt first. So we want to make sure none of these boxes are empty. If a box is empty, then parts aren't being produced. So you can see this box here is empty. And it looks like this box is empty. Oops. Let's get some more coal here, make sure all of our coal stuff is filled up. Actually, let's just grab these. So this is just a starter base. We're basically just going to work here till we get probably steel done. You know, we'll get steel done, red belts done. And what do these take? Steel and stone. 
Yeah, I'll probably wait till we have a big smelter line set up for that. Electronics, we don't really need that right now. Tier two assemblers, wow. Well, I guess they need steel, so yeah, we won't worry about that right now. So yeah, I think after we get red belts done here, we'll set up our first actual production line. We pretty much just need to wait on miners. We're gonna need a ton of these electric miners. So we're pretty much gonna chill on this little base until we have all those electric miners we need. And we'll continue collecting inserters, belts, and stone furnaces. Those are the two things we're gonna need, need a huge amount of. Looks like, oh no, that's where our green circuits are going. Don't need those anymore. Yeah, I think we'll retool our hotbar now. I always like to have belts on that slot one. Oh, and actually maybe we can make some, uh, let's make a couple underground belts. We got we got 24 of those, 10 splitters. That should be good enough to get a little starter base going. Oh, it looks like we ran out of something here. It's iron plates. Dump those. How's copper looking? 380, 380. How's this side looking? Still good. All our chests have stuff in them. Oh, almost 50 assemblers. And yeah, I didn't plan any of this layout out. You know, I just kind of threw down a pile of assemblers, some boxes, and inserters, and, you know, it's pretty quick and easy. Just starting everything off with iron plates and copper plates. Like, we've automated green and red signs from here already, so it's pretty good. Because we don't have two science labs fully saturated. Oh, geez, these guys are just tossing red labs back and forth. Oh my god. Wow, there's a lot of green science in there. What do we need here? We need some iron. And this guy needs some iron as well. So you can see you need way more iron than copper for this. You can tell based on the size of these lines. I wonder if I could probably just help out producing more red signs here since I'm just kind of waiting on those electric miners.
Make sure all our boxes are not empty yet. 30 electric miners. So I think to start out, like we want, we want red belts. So we're gonna need 60 miners per belt. And really just to start out, we need one, one copper line and one iron line. Those will allow us to make our mall and our mall is pretty much going to do all of our assembly for us. So it's going to make all our inserters, our assembly machines, all our different belts, and all our fancy transport parts and poles, and you know all this stuff that we need. Then after that, we'll set up one more copper line and one more iron line, and that will feed into our green and red science producing facility, which I have a blueprint of here. I also have our mall. So we will find our, so I got mall and mall v2. So mall one, we can see what this mall looks like. It's fairly simple, just make some starter stuff, feeds them all into some boxes for us. And this requires a copper line and an iron line, should be able to handle that fine. We got mall v2 for once we have drones and stuff like that, but that won't be for a while. And then we have this that makes green and red science. It's nice because it's a single line of copper, single line of iron, and this will make green and red science for us. All right, we're almost done with steel here. There we go, now we're on to our tool belts. I'm just going to get rid of that. Looks like we've got an empty chest here. guys need some wow 700 plates in that one chest yeah I think we're going to take some of these we can use one Throw another one in there. 295. That guy's gonna run out in a bit. So I believe this tool belt gives us an extra 10 slots. Yeah. And we'll have our red belts. Then once we have our red belts, I think we can just tear this factory down and uh, start working on our main base yeah we've already got 45 of these electric drills here which is pretty good so i think i'll start by just placing a couple blueprints so i have my tier one smelt line here this line will produce a full red belt worth of uh, resources so we just kind of want to think where we want this to start because I have my ore patches here, so I want these to be above my ore patches. So I think maybe I might start my line here. So I'm gonna make two lines. There we go. Now I can just go like this. I can press Control C to copy, and I can um, click and drag over this, and I can see what I need. I need 318 belts, about 200 inserters, about 100 smelters, and you know, a couple other parts. But in the meantime, I need to clear out a lot of these trees here. So I'm gonna have to put a whole bunch more lines here.
And these trees will make for some good power poles. And it looks like we're almost at an hour here. I want to keep these episodes to about an hour. So we'll clear out these trees. I don't think we'll finish our tool belt by then. By next episode, we'll probably get all our mining lines set up. And we should probably have our mall done next episode as well. There, this has cleared out a lot of extra space for some more lines. Man, this stone takes a while. So we've got most of the space cleared out here. There should be enough to last us for a while. We can easily fit quite a few more smelting lines in here. And we're probably going to need some more iron here just to top up our empty boxes. Yeah, we got one empty box here. And we'll just throw a pile of iron into some more of these boxes. Nice. Check out our copper. Could use a bit more copper. Whew, that's a lot of copper. Alright, 200 inserters, nice. Check this guy out. Five hundred belts, hell yeah. Get some more green science packs going. Hundred inserters, sixty miners. See I think this will be a perfect spot to set up a huge amount of miners for our iron. And we should be able to get a lot of copper out of this patch as well. So we have 530 belts. And I think we only we needed about 500 for the smelt line. 300, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So, well, we're at 58 minutes now. So I think I'm just going to save that for next episode. We'll get those two smelt lines up, get that mall done. And, you know, we'll probably even get to uh, a red and green science belt line installed in there, too. And then we can continue working on the rest of the base while all our red and green science is done. After that, we'll actually need a refinery as well. And I have a couple refineries here. This is my maxed out refinery. This has stuff we can't even build yet. But we can start out with something small and simple and then tear it down when we're ready for the advanced one. And you can see here I got blueprints for all my different sciences. Blue science is pretty simple as well. Red, green, and blue are very easy. I like to do yellow before purple because yellow has my bots. And bots are oh so nice. Looks like we need some more iron plates. All right, we just hit the one hour mark, so I think that's good for now. We got quite a lot done. I mean, we're one hour in and we've basically automated red and green science. It is just a starter base, so we're gonna tear this down probably next episode and get everything running on electric and get some nice 
clean looking factory going here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is my first time doing, you know, something that isn't oxygen not included. And I know there's a lot of other people doing Factorio too, but I do this because it's fun. I like to, you know, do things how, you know, my way and show people different ways you can do stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, if you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye.